Angel Reese is silently dominating the WNBA. But before we get off into today's video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you got your post notifications on so you know every time Simply Ball drop and drops another hot banger. And if it's your first time coming across my YouTube channel, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, post your comments, share the video out, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. I see everybody in the comment section, hashtag salute. And you know what my mantra is, tell a friend to tell a friend. It might not be for you, but it might be for them. Well, Angel Reese is silently putting together a luxurious WNBA career in her first five games. But before we get off into today's podcast, today's podcast is sponsored by SeatGeek. SeatGeek, the official sponsor of Simply Ball Dropping Podcast, the number one rated ticketing app, over 28 million downloads, 70,000 plus events from concerts to sports, all your tickets across the web, all in one place, rated one to 10. Green means good, red means bad, and all your tickets are backed by your buyer's guarantee. <laughs> Promo code simply ball dropping at checkout to get $20 off your purchase. And just remember, by using my promo code simply ball dropping at checkout, you're getting $20 off your purchase. Also, remember, you're supporting the simply ball dropping podcast. Well, let's get right off into it. Angel Reese is silently dominating the WNBA. We know the headlines are all about Caitlin Clark and what she's bringing to the WNBA. Uh, the money, the revenue, um, all the things that are coming along with Caitlin Clark being in the WNBA. Now, what has happened is she is the cash cow. Um, she has got the WNBA private charters, you know, to fly to their games and things like that. Um, she's putting fans in seats. She's the money draw. She's the big attention. But don't forget, there's still the Bayou Barbie and Angel Reese. Angel Reese is silently dominating the WNBA. Now, it seems like Angel Reese has been the forgotten one in this situation. You know, she was drafted number seven by the Chicago Sky in this year's WNBA draft. And she's got off to a hot start. And she's really going under the radar. Nobody's really talking about what Angel Reese is accomplishing on and off the court. I mean, she's making major moves. You know, she just recently became part owner of a, a DC soccer club, a woman's soccer club down in DC um, in the DMV area where she was born and raised. Um, she's doing boss moves. You know, last year she signed that deal with Reebok when Shaquille O'Neal and Allen Iverson um, took over. What she is doing is very unprecedented. Um, she's doing some major things and it seems like she's the forgotten person in this WNBA draft. Um, there's other rookies that are elite and Cameron Brink, um, Camilla Cardosa. I know she's hurt for the Chicago sky, but she's a outstanding basketball player as well. But the, all the attention is on Caitlin Clark and me personally, I think Angel Reese is having dominating season thus far with the Chicago Skies. The Chicago Skies, I know their record is two and three, but at the same time, Angel Reese is putting up great numbers. And the other night, she became a part of WNBA history. Now, what Angel Reese is doing is very, you know, unique in what the critics said when she came into the WNBA that she couldn't do. Um, everybody criticized her about her shooting. Everybody criticized her about her low post moves. Yeah, they said she is, you know, relentless on the the offensive glass and on the backboards. Yeah, she is relentless. But me personally, I think she's doing a lot of great things around that basket. And she actually is putting on some good moves on some of these WNBA veterans. Also, she's playing hard-nosed defense. But what she has done through the first five games is you know very unprecedented um angel reese makes wnba history through the first five games now through the first five games of her professional career angel reese has already 
owns a little piece of league history. After a 12 rebound performance on Tuesday night against the Seattle Storm, the six foot three Chicago sky forward cemented herself as the second player in WNBA history to record 24 offensive rebounds through her first five games. Only Yolanda Griffin, who is widely considered as one of the greatest rebounders and defensive players in the history of the WNBA's basketball, had more offensive rebounds, 31, through her first five games. So what Angel Reese is doing is very impressive. Um, These stats check out for the um, star rookie who currently leads the entire league in offensive rebounds. Reese ended her career at LSU at number five all-time W... um, NCWA offensive rebound list. She finished 16th all time in total rebounds too. Reese also secured her first career double double Tuesday night, becoming the first Sky player since Sylvia Fowles to record one within her first five games. So what she's doing is very special through the first five games. Now understand Chicago Sky. They're two and three, but Angel Reese is averaging 12 points a game. 8.6 8.6 rebounds, 1.8 assists, and 1.2 steals. So right now, I mean, she's doing some things that a lot of people said that she wasn't capable of doing. And what happened the other night is she took a hard foul from the Connecticut Suns, Alyssa Thomas, and she was pulled down by the throat. But she didn't complain. She didn't walk. And after that game, She went to the press conference. She went to the podium and she had some interesting things to say when she took that hard foul. Now, I want y'all to listen the difference between how Angel Reese handled that press conference talking about the hard fouls and how Caitlin Clark talked about the physicality and the fouling on her. So I want you guys to take a listen. I'm a basketball player. They don't give a damn if I'm a rookie. I mean, I want them to come at me every day. I want them to come at everybody. I mean, they're not supposed to be nice to me. I I hope y'all know that. They're not supposed to be nice to me or lay down because I'm Angel Reese or because I'm a rookie. Like, thank you, AT, for sending a message to me because I got back up and I kept going and kept pushing. Like, me and AT have been cool since we were in Maryland, so I know it's not no hard feelings, and I appreciate her for going at me every day or today. Yeah, I think everybody, you know, they get away with things that, you know, probably... Other people don't get away with um and it's tough but that's just that's just the fact of the matter is like this is a very physical game um but yeah i mean you're gonna get pressure that's just professional basketball so i think it is what it is honestly. now you heard what angel reese said angel reese is standing on business she said they don't give a damn if i'm a rookie and my name is angel reese but on the other hand it seems like caitlin clark is doing a little complaining about people getting away with certain things um, Angel Reese is standing on business. Now, Angel Reese, man, she is silently, you know, having herself a great start to her WNBA career. And, you know, it's been going unrecognized. A lot of people, like I said, are talking about Caitlin Clark, this narrative about Caitlin Clark on what she's doing for the WNBA. But as far as play, Angel Reese has silenced a lot of critics, man, because they said that Angel Reese would not be able to do the things that she did in college on the offensive rebounding and the defensive rebounding the way she did it in college versus the way she's doing it in the WNBA. But she has cemented herself in the WNBA history through the first five games with 24 offensive rebounds. So we got to give kudos to Angel Reese. And she is silently, you know, silencing these critics. So you guys let me know what y'all think about, you know, the play of Angel Reese. Is she silently dominating the WNBA and it's going unrecognized because of all the Caitlin Clark headlines? Uh, Let me know what you think down in the comments section. Um, Remember, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video. Please share it out. And what I always say before you leave out the door, please give this video a thumbs up. And this is going to wrap up another episode of the Simply Ball Dropping Podcast. I'm your host and the man behind the mic, KSAP. We're going to catch you on the next one. Deuces. Thanks for listening to the Simply Ball Dropping Podcast. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share on all major platforms. That's all, folks.